Hi everybody, uh, it's Phil here and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm currently at beautiful Central Station with Paul from Transport Vlog. Hi there. Um, so today uh, we're just doing a bit of a sort of collaboration video, um, sort of interviewing each other. Um, you'll, see, um, you'll see Paul's version on his channel, um, Transport Vlog, and um, well, mine here. So I, in this video I'm just going to be asking Paul a few questions. Uh, so, how are you today? For I'm good, yes, yes. It's a <laughs> lovely good. sunny day, it's it, Sunday, it is, and yes. um, Central Station behind us, the terminating platforms, there's no trains in them. Yeah, it's well, closed. Well, a, so. It's all closed up, there's a there's an 81 class and that's it. So, yeah, uh, it's a bonus. Um, so, we've got so, bonus, so hopefully no announcements. Yes, <laughs> yes, we've got, we've got um, platform 12 to yeah, ourselves. Exactly. So, I guess um, to start off with, yeah. mate, um, how did you get into, um, you know, transport um, what 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 got you interested in in that topic um, probably from my dad actually yeah so yeah so um, I probably started in New Zealand so I lived in New Zealand from zero so I was born in Dunedin um, right. till eight yep. mainly in Dunedin a little bit in Christchurch as well yeah. and um, we had the green train and the blue train which went from Dunedin to Christchurch right, yeah. and I vaguely remember us watching those occasionally but I was more into aircraft because uh, where we lived in Christchurch um, was very close to the uh, approach to Christchurch Airport. Okay, yeah. And we used to see the turboprops coming over the house, and so we got much more into those. And I do remember uh, it was only in the summer that you got the 747s coming in. Oh, right. So in the winter, it was 707 was the... Uh, was it because of the, like, uh, increased patronage? I think so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so yes. it would be the, probably, the, probably the service to the UK, actually. So it was a 747, so jumbo jet in the summer was, yeah. was really, really cool. Nice. So I spent a lot of time there. I even remember seeing the Queen uh, arriving really? at Christchurch. Oh, wow, airport, that's watching incredible. out from the top and had our yep. English flags and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yeah, yeah so definitely more aircraft. And then um, coming to England, we lived uh, in, uh, in a place called Sandbach, which is quite close to Crewe, which is a major railway station it's like it's like the town is like 50,000 people but okay. it's a major interchange I can't think of really an equivalent in Australia but uh, there must be somewhere maybe it's not like Goulburn or somewhere I don't know but uh, yeah. um, so it's a major um, railway interchange and um, so I just naturally got into watching the trains there yeah. and um, yeah so that was my kind of teenage pastime and it was good because it, it made me independent as well because I used to go off and travel to different yeah, places so you know, although my friends thought I was just a train nerd, in reality, <laughs> I was also getting to see other parts of the country, which I really enjoyed yeah, as well. Yeah, the travel side yeah, of things too, that's yeah. It. yeah. So that was really how I got into it. Um, and then um, I then naturally decided I wanted to do that as a career. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so, so I so I did a degree, yeah. So uh, you worked with um, London Underground? Yeah, so I, so, I got, um, so I ended up doing a, a transport-related degree. Okay. Um, yeah. and, uh, and as a result of that, I had a year firstly working with British Rail. Okay. Um, it was like um, what I think you call an internship in Australia, but we called a sandwich year. So you'd work, you'd do study for a couple of years, then you would uh, go in industry for a year, and then you'd finish off your studies at the end. So that's basically what, what it was. Oh, yeah. um, so for that, I worked at British Rail. It was a fantastic time. I remember doing everything from like going and just cleaning and sweeping platforms to going into signal boxes to going around with a, um, what's called a mobile operations manager. So basically okay. a, a person who's on the ground dealing with things. They even showed you the correct way to stand on a third rail because it was on the southern region where it's uh, third rail electrification, no overhead wires. So right, how to yeah. cross lines and do all the track safety correctly. That was a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds exciting though. It was, it was a great, Amazing. it was such a fun year. Yeah. And, uh, and then got involved in timetabling as well and uh, train performance management and a bit of planning. So did all sorts of things there. So it was really, really good. So I did that. Then I went back, to, finished off my degree. Uh, and then I ended up on the buses for a while uh, and then on to London Underground. Um, yes. And the, the job that was probably my favourite job was uh, being the visits manager for the opening of the Jubilee Line extension. So that was a, a line in London that um, was being extended. Yep. And, and it was the first line in London that had like platform screen doors, tunnel ventilation, all the things that modern metro systems now have. Yes. So yes. my role was to take people uh, around the stations. Many of them were still construction sites. And uh, so I had hard hat and a high vi And what was really funny was we had a boot cupboard for the, the steel toe capped boots. Okay, yeah. Okay, so when yeah, we took yeah. visitors, we had to find out what their shoe size was. Oh. Um, <laughs> so we had the right number of boots. Yeah. And I took um, a few fairly um, influential people, MPs, local councillors around. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to know like the boot sizes of quite a few people. <laughs> 
<laughs> get, getting getting yeah. get, getting deep into knowing them. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> it got funny. It got easier when they went more into the testing mode and they were no longer construction sites. We could take larger groups of people. Yes. Um, and um, oh, I forgot about this. Modern Railways is like the main one of the railway magazines in in England. Okay. And I remember taking like 250 Modern Rail readers around three of the stations and I remember at the last minute we had to change the station oh, it was really? going to be North Greenwich and then there was some issue with North Greenwich we had to change it to Canada Water at the last minute imagine it would be like, a bit like organising something at Bella Vista and then like 24 hours later you've got to change it to Norwest or something wow. like that it was, it was mad so um, so that was that was a lot of fun and um, yeah so so I did that and, uh, and that was great fun and, and it was funny actually because <laughs> it leads on to something else but at that time I started to get spotted by people who'd been on tours so I'd be right. like in London or I'd be around and people say I recognize you from somewhere and they've been on the tour <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was kind of weird yeah, that's cool something that we're both quite aware of now is being on YouTube aren't oh we? So yeah we get spotted yeah. around don't we particularly on railway stations <laughs> yeah yeah that's it and um getting getting to being recognized soon yeah um uh very quickly before we actually get onto, uh, yeah, yeah. onto YouTube um yeah. you uh, you know Howard Collins. Yes, that's um, right. Yes, yeah. yes. So Howard Collins was working on the Jubilee Line. Um, yes. it, he, at the time, he was a general manager, and he was responsible for the train crew okay. for the extension. Yep. So making sure that all the train drivers were trained up and all that sort of thing. So that was what he did. Um, so I worked quite closely with Howard. And, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Um, you know, got to got to go on the front of some of the trains on test and things <laughs> like that. So yeah, that's really good. And so yeah, and then um, he moved on, uh, and then I left the underground when it was sort of semi-privatized around about that time, so about 2,000 times, so yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so um, we both know Howard, don't we? So yes. <laughs> I've bumped into him a couple of times randomly um, since he came to Australia, so, uh, and of course remember the eventful day when he uh, took uh, took responsibility for Sydney Trains, was the which we mentioned in the other video, which we'll uh, put a link up here, yeah. about yeah. The, <laughs> the Harris Park um, landslide. So, yeah. yeah. Which was the day, <laughs> was the day he came into, um, day one over, of wasn't Sydney it? Day trains one of Sydney Trains, Wales yeah. Train Link, uh, yeah. retaining wall, yeah. Uh, yeah. Gave so, way and, yeah, so I bumped into him at Milsons Point Station, and I, I recognised him. Obviously, he we both got a bit older, so um, but he had his badge on, so I recognised it was him. So that yeah. was great. And uh, and then and then I, I met him quite recently at uh, just after Central Walk opened. But you've met him as well. So um, I have. Yeah, I was that, here. Yeah. Um, it was here at Central Station yeah. during the 2014 um, Transport Heritage Expo. Oh right. Um, okay. Yes. He, he was yes. he was um, just walking around, having a look, getting photos himself. Yes. Um, of trains yes. because how it is, um, which is amazing having yeah. um, him part of our network um, because he as well is also a train enthusiast exactly, or transport yeah. enthusiast. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember he told a story. It was on the TV about um, one of the East Coast Heritage Rail trains that had derailed, and uh, how the, he got involved in like getting it back on the tracks and the whole process of that. So yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a real genuine railway operation person. He really knows his stuff. So yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah. So you having past um, experience. In, in the railway industry um, explains why you are so knowledgeable <laughs> at, um, in your videos on your YouTube channel. You yep. give incredible information in, in so much depth. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I couldn't even, couldn't even I didn't, wouldn't even know where to begin giving that much information <laughs> in, in, um, in some of yeah, the videos yeah. I do. Yeah. Um, so getting into that, um, what um, to start off with, uh, what, did, what started um, your passion with YouTube? What, what made you want to start that? So um, I actually did have I've actually been a YouTuber since 2017, but I had another channel which was a self-help channel called Self Help for Life. I'll put a link to it in the description, or someone will put a link in the description anyway. Yeah. So you feel free to check that out. It was all about um, psychology, self-help, um, motivation, confidence, those sorts of things. And I did 100 videos on that channel. Um, but I also, as a COVID project, fancied doing some transport videos. Okay. And so it was just something I thought I'd do on a Sunday. It was a bit of fun, really. Never thought I'd take it very seriously. Yeah. And so I just started. The idea came when I was up at Port Stephens, and uh, I was in the Cheeky Dog pub, uh, Rick, uh, Rick Stein pub, okay. and uh, having a beer. And, and I've been watching Jeff Marshall. Um, I know some of you are familiar with Jeff Marshall's videos. And I thought, I'd like to do something like that in Sydney. And I already knew Phil's channel, and his channel had done really well. So I thought there's obviously a demand to do something like this in Sydney and there, in Australia there is generally. Definitely an interest. Of, yeah. For, for so sure, yeah. That, that's really where the idea came. And then it took me a while to do my first video. Yeah. Uh, and then I thought, well, and one thing I had been doing before uh, Transport Vlog was I had been filming 
the Northwest Metro at various times before it opened. So I probably only did it twice, I think. About a year before it opened, I went and filmed all the stations. And then about six months before it all opened, I went and filmed them all again. And then when <laughs> when it was when it opened, I remember just wanting to just go out and go on as much as I could over the first sure. few weeks. So I realised that I, clearly the passion was still there. Um, and that's kind of where the idea came from. So yeah. yeah. So I started doing Sydney Metro videos and the channel really took off. And, uh, and so I then decided to just do transport videos and no longer do any of the self-help videos yeah um, so yeah which was uh, which which yeah. is yeah which is really really taken yeah. off as well your, your videos are exactly absolutely yeah. amazing yeah um, yeah so you've traveled a little bit um, for your videos yeah um, you've, you've covered um, a, a number of projects in yeah, um, like yeah. outside of New South Wales as well yeah, do you wanna, exactly yeah. do you want to have a little chat about that yeah well the furthest I've been to in New South Wales is Broken Hill um, oh, I'd twice. Love I'd love to. I haven't been yet. <laughs> you should surprisingly do it. Enough. You should yeah. do it. It's a wonderful train journey. Yeah. yeah. Um, because you've got the obviously got the Blue Mountains bit, which is quite familiar. The bit to Orange, but then the train, you really start once you get beyond Parks, you really start to get into the desert. Yeah. And it, that'll it's, be uh, incredible. It's, it's an amazing trip. Yeah. You should definitely do it sometime. Yeah. Really, um, really Broken good. Hill, the gateway to yeah. the Outback. Or, or, yeah. yeah. I think is, yeah. I think that's what they call they it. They call it the Outback Explorer. It only runs on a Monday. So yes. it's like six fifteen, six eighteen. I think it leaves. It's pretty early. It takes yeah. about thirteen hours. Uh, and then stay a night in Broken Hill. You can either fly back or do what I do, just come back on the train the following <laughs> yeah, day. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's about the journey, you know, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you get to really see the desert, which is great. And uh, although you can do that on the Indian Pacific, it's a lot more expensive. And a lot of it's in the night. So this is all in daytime. If you do it, at the, you know, around December, January time, you can get almost the entire trip in daylight, which is lovely. Did you see Darnick Station? I think it's, I think it's Darnick. Um, yeah, it's the platform's so small yeah. that the platform station name signs off the platform <laughs> really? in the dirt. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've seen photos of it. Oh and I was wow, like, okay. interesting. Yeah, hey, I'd love to. Go. Um, Obviously, it's impossible to get off. I'm sure there's, stop a, there's, there's a lot drive, more but yeah. uh, better scenery, but and that's what I bring up a station. So yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it's yeah. I, it's one thing I actually kind of found yeah, yeah. Um, amusing think, yeah. um, in photos that I've seen. But yeah, yeah that, that's a yeah. definite trip. That and um, I was always keen that the channel was more than just Sydney. Yes. Um, so uh, first opportunity I got to go to Melbourne my wife was working there so we thought well I'll come down and get some free accommodation <laughs> some, <laughs> and some and uh, and uh, yeah that's where the Metro Tunnel and, and ironically that's actually the most popular video on my channel yeah which is kind of it's kind of strange and it's not strange it's strange that a Melbourne video should be my most popular video but it actually isn't strange because I've only done two Melbourne videos as I've done obviously 50 or 60 Sydney videos yeah. so you know they're all gonna the, the, it's gonna get spread out the the, the, the view you know the viewers and things so yeah yeah it was really good because um, um, uh, I had I hadn't yeah uh, I, I didn't know too much about um, yeah about any of these two major projects yeah. uh, both Melbourne and Brisbane yeah um, I only just hear bits and pieces well, to be here honest, there, I knew nothing about them <laughs> until I started researching the videos yeah yeah I mean, but even, seeing yeah. your video and like, yeah. in depth explaining like what's yeah. happening what what it is you know what exactly I mean. yeah. um, yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> As, uh, back to um, Paul's videos being, yeah. yeah, extremely informative, which is which which is amazing. Yeah. One thing I really love about your channel. That's yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's a lot of effort goes into them. Luckily, a lot of the information is on the internet. Yes. Um, sometimes it's my previous knowledge. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the time, it's just things on the internet, and it's just getting good at googling, I guess. You know, that's finding it. out what's there, and uh, you know, I'm starting to make some contacts with people, sort of contacts with people in the industry as well. It helps as well. Yeah, uh, over, over time. Um, yeah, yeah. People sort of they start to recognise you over the time. Well, exactly. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I first realised that um, Sydney Metro were probably watching my videos when I was at um, at the Mowbray Road Bridge once. And this guy came up to me and said, your video helped me get a job at Chats with Dive Side. <laughs> <laughs> he says, we watch That's your great. videos in like the mess room. Yeah. And, um, and so I said, oh, I hope they're accurate. You know, he says, oh, yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the industry. So, um, yeah. you know, everything I, the information I have is, is all from stuff on the public domain. So there's yeah. always a chance that, that, that there are things that, are not, that I don't know. So, you know, always... Yeah. Always good, good to know that. So yeah, so that was quite funny. And so I realised, obviously, Sydney Metro were watching my videos yes. at that point. So yeah, and uh, and then th over the time they've reached out to me and uh, you know I've had opportunities to get behind the scenes, get into the the Sydney Metro tunnel at Chatswood Dive. So that was that was really cool. Yeah. And of course, uh, with you to go and see the uh, the calf tram 
yes, how much the light rail yes, stuff yes. was really good. Yes, um, well. out of uh, Mundi, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was really good. I was so happy to see that. Yeah, I was, I I was know. just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was such a surprise because we weren't expecting yeah, to, yeah. each other to be there, were we, at all? And we could have easily been there at different times. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Um, it was actually chucking down with rain that day as well, I remember. Um, <laughs> I, I, it was pretty, <laughs> yeah. um, it was sort of terrible. It yeah, was really yeah. terrible um, yeah, yeah. earlier in the day. Yeah, um, and then but uh, upon actually arriving at the site, yeah, it, yeah. it cleared up. It was quite spitting nicely. a bit, but not not yeah, too yeah. much. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. yeah. Really so um, obviously, you've been to Brisbane. Um, I've been to WA as well. I've been to Perth. Yeah, I, I have. Uh, haven't done any filming at Perth, but there's um, it's now this is interesting. Perth. Um, what they do is they build they build roads yes. and they put railway lines in the middle of them. Yeah, <laughs> and the speeds yeah. that these trains yeah. travel there are pretty yeah. decent. Exactly, um, yeah. yeah. So the Mandurah line is, is, is amazing. So I've, I've been on it, but these were all before transport vlog days. So, yes. uh, so yeah, so um, that definitely want to do an end of a line at Mandurah. That would be really, really cool to do. Yeah, the, so, yeah. those um, B-series trains actually yeah. do run that line. Um, yeah. And that um, they actually came through Sydney because they were built oh, really? up at um, uh, oh, right, okay. Maryborough in Queensland. Oh, OK. So they're, they're, they were attached to yeah, yeah. Um, the back of uh, uh, run 4NY3, um, a steel train. Oh, wow. had, um, <laughs> that would make its way across the country. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the um, wow. B series would be detached and put onto different trains and swapped yeah. around and things like <laughs> that. But it's, it was very interesting. Um, yeah, seeing that that set, you know. And of course, they can't just run on the rails because they're different gauges. Yes, yes. <laughs> so yeah. Yes, yeah, so they have but to um, yeah, put them on different put on different bogies and different things bogies, like that. Yeah, put them on like yeah, carrot trucks or wagons or something. Yeah, like yeah. so you'd yeah. see on the back of a of yeah. um, that steel train. Just you know, the three carriage set going through, yeah, yeah. and sort yeah. of you try your best to sort of get a photo of the you know the the Perth yeah. <laughs> train or the Trans Perth train next to say a Sydney trains Waratah, yeah, yeah, or something like that, yeah, because out of yeah, but that just reminded me of that. Yeah, that's great. No, that's brilliant. <laughs> no, it's, I, I love the way actually you manage to get capture these things on film. You know, yeah. whether it's a brand new train or C sets going to the scrapyard, you yeah. know, or a brand new uh, Marion train. You know, it's, it's amazing how you manage patience. to do that. Yeah, but it does. Sometimes <laughs> it's like this. Okay, it's going to leave at midday. <laughs> You're still standing at the station at seven p.m. waiting. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if I've got that patience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's um, it's worth it though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Sort of looking back on photos and things yeah, like that, yeah. I'm sure that you yeah. um, have a lot of photos and um, a yeah. lot of memories that you look look back on and go, wow, I'm like really glad. It, yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. And of course, yeah. you know. Um, I wish, of course, I'd started the channel a lot earlier, you know, but yeah. uh, <laughs> as yeah. the saying goes, best time to plant a tree was 100 years ago or something, yeah. and the next best time to plant a tree is now, so there you go. That's so it. as anybody thinking of starting a YouTube channel, you know, now's the best time really, isn't it? Probably, There's yeah. so much going on. Yeah, that's so, it. Yeah. 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 Um, one thing I do want to bring up, um, which, we'd, which we had talked about a couple of times today, yeah. um, is being recognised by <laughs> subscribers. Yes. Um, uh, your fan base is... Um, recently exceeded 10,000 um, yeah congratulations yeah. by the yeah, way thank you yeah thank um you, yeah. and which uh, you, uh you're becoming a lot more recognizable yeah, um yeah, yeah. What, what's what's it like when when you're walking around and someone um sort of stops you and says hi <laughs> paul well i actually quite i actually quite like it most of the time yeah um and if i'm if i'm at somewhere like at central station i i'm quite happy to you know factor in you know i'm happy yeah. to chat to people i'm usually not time too much time pressure so that's fine yeah. so you know if you see me and you're a bit shy do come up and say hello you know yeah for nice sure for sure and likewise yeah i don't bite <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. you know, um actually i was a bit cheeky on the central video um when people did come up and say hello i, I sometimes ask them if they just film a bit of me you know so bits where you see me and actually in the film looking at things i just yeah. ask some random oh, person to film that so yeah it's a good idea so yeah, <laughs> yeah there you are i got it there <laughs> that is a good idea so yeah, yeah that was good um but yeah no it's great um the most unusual place i've been spotted was at a rave i went to like a I went to cafe del mar which is in um darling harbour I went to like a house rave you know like dance electronic yeah, yeah. dance music thing yeah, yeah. i hadn't been to one for about 10 or 15 years okay. yeah, yeah. And, and, and i thought and someone spotted me there. <laughs> oh, there you I go. Mean, if you're watching this video, by the way, <laughs> say hi or leave a comment. But, uh, so I said to him, I said, you didn't see me. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but that was funny. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah no, that was um, funny. But I mean, also at the, uh, the EV show, the electric car show, that was not too unusual to be spotted there. Yeah. Um, but um, other places I'm trying to think have been, yeah, most of it's due to be at stations. But yeah. Um, someone spotted me in Lithgow. 
Oh, really? And also <laughs> Moss Vale. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. So that was weird. That, so it's not just Sydney. It can be further afield. Yeah. And, um, uh, and ma- imagine yeah. going interstate yeah. and someone sort of yeah. saying, oh, you. <laughs> yeah, that hasn't happened. Well, I don't think that's happened yet, although a driver yeah. did toot at me coming through. I think it was Park Road Station. Okay, um, yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah, know whether he was just tooting to be friendly or whether he'd recognise me or whether he'd he, I'd been there so long he'd, he'd done three trips and I'd been on the platform <laughs> the whole time who knows but yeah, 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 yeah I so haven't yeah. had anyone interstate recognise yeah. me only people that I already knew yeah yeah um, exactly so through, yeah, yeah. Uh, through the rail uh, you know yeah yeah through the channel I guess yeah yeah but so yeah so it's always fun to be to, yeah I quite enjoy it I mean I don't know if I'm an introvert or an extrovert really I think I can be both I oh, sometimes quite, I yeah. could be very limited with yeah. it. Like I wouldn't, I won't say too many words, but sometimes yeah. you, you, you can't shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it depends. It depends on the day, I guess. I don't yeah, know. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what um, similar to similar to what you asked me, actually, what's yeah. the what's the future of of transport log? What are you what What are you looking at um, well, into I'm the future? Always keen to expand into different areas. I mean, yeah. going to Melbourne and Brisbane certainly helped get up to 10,000 subscribers yeah, that definitely yeah. helped and, yeah. and it's lovely now to hear more from people in Melbourne and Brisbane you know even with the commenting on the Sydney videos you know and uh, and and I, I really hope Melbourne Melbourne people Melbournians <laughs> that Flinders Street and Southern Cross can get a bit of the central station treatment it would be lovely for those stations to do yeah. so hopefully you know this will inspire the other states to do things like that so yeah that's it that's happen. it so, yeah. I've always liked um, Southern Cross it looks interesting yeah. uh, Flind- Flinders smell. Street is yeah. Vind- Flinders Street is it's a beautiful station it's run yeah. down here and there yeah um, it's part of an absolutely amazing building yeah, yeah um, but yeah. a little bit of TLC maybe a bit, yeah yeah a the, bit of work the, the diesel smell at Southern Cross Station reminds yeah. me of Crew Station because that was oh, really? a lot of diesel trains went through there yeah oh wow so that has a nice childhood smell about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, yeah yeah because if you think of it, Central Station, it's all electric, isn't it? It's only the Indian Pacific is the only diesel thing that comes in, isn't it? Yeah, so, Indian Pacific, yeah. the XPTs, Explorers. Oh, yeah, I um, suppose the XPTs and Explorers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, oh, I've um, forgotten about them. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten about them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, you know, yeah. 95% of the electricity exactly, that come yeah. in here are electric. Electric, so. so much more than Southern Cross, where they actually have local hall trains, like, regularly, particularly in the peaks. Yes. And that's definitely, next time I'm in Melbourne, I want to get some get behind some local hall traction <laughs> yeah unfortunately you can't stick your head out the window like you can on the heritage trains but uh yeah. still times have nice changed to, so much be nice to film some of those so yeah that'd be good. yeah yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so yeah so um so other plans um if anybody's watching in adelaide or perth yes i do want to get to adelaide and perth um adelaide trams also there's been some electrification in adelaide as well so uh, yes, fairly has. recently yeah. so it'd be good to, to get up and film that perth we've got the airport yep. um so it'd be good to Film the airport, recently the opened, um, line. Yeah, in recent so, yeah. months. Yeah. And what else? Nice to get over to Auckland. Have been to Auckland a couple of times, but it'd be good to see because they've got a little mini project happening in Auckland as well. Where they mini, it's quite major. It's a, <laughs> a, a tunnel under, like a circular tunnel, I think, under um, something like that. Yeah. Not up oh, on nice. my Auckland transport. What's going on in transport? But there's definitely something they're doing. Something like a little mini. I'd love to go over to New Zealand in general, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then there's three wonderful lines to do. There's the Auckland to Wellington line. Okay. Because they don't have that many trains in New Zealand. And they're narrow gauge, so similar to Queensland and and WA. Uh, And then they have the line that goes, you can get the the ferry over to Wellington. And there's another line that goes down to Christchurch, which I think is pretty scenic. Okay. And then you've got the one that goes over Arthur's Pass to Greymouth. I think it is anyway Arthur's Pass line, which is amazing as well. Apparently, nice. so you could do over three or four days. You could do all those three trips. Yeah, um, exploring the yeah. world's railways is yeah. actually something that I'd love to do. Yeah, and travel on all the major, all the major trains. You know, um, exactly, like how we yeah. have the you know yeah. Indian Pacific and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And um, over overseas, you, you know, the, the Rocky Mountaineer example, <laughs> and and many more will be amazing to travel and. Um, Speaking of scenery, I mean, and yeah. you, you know when you, you know when you really made it on YouTube is when like the Indian Pacific invite you to go on their train for free. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did watch a video. It's more of a traveller uh, YouTuber than hint, a transport hint. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this, <laughs> and um, yeah, it was more of a traveller YouTuber than a transport one. But he, yeah. he 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 was he was very forced disclosure. He said, you know, I've got a free ride on the Indian Pacific and did a great review of it. So yeah. that would be that would be cool to do. Yeah. That. I have been sort of have actually and... have been on the Indian Pacific from. Um, we came to uh, Australia for our honeymoon, so that was 2003, and um, we did Sydney to Adelaide, 
yeah. on the Indian Pacific, which was pretty cool. But again, nice. you know, you miss some of the best bits in the dark. Yeah. Um, but I remember Broken Hill. Uh, and then for, our, I think, our 10th wedding anniversary, we did um, Alice Springs to Adelaide. All right. So that was pretty cool. So we have done a couple of Indian Pacific. Oh, that was the Garn, obviously. That's where the Garn cap came from. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. That's so amazing. they're worth doing. Not cheap, but, you know, good yeah, for special it's, occasions. It's def- yeah. definitely something to at least, at least exactly. do once in, in, yeah. in a lifetime sort of thing. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah so that would be an amazing trip. So it would be lovely to, to do those sorts of things on film as well. And um, some of those other trips going up to Cairns on the... Uh, uh, Spirit of Queensland. Spirit, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you knew what it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was the, like a moment there. It's like yeah, the, the old tilt <laughs> yeah. train. Yeah, you got the tilt train, haven't you? And then you got the, the Spirit of Queensland. Yeah, it's like I a think, nice train. Actually. I think that yeah. is, I think Spirit of Queensland is a sort of. I think yeah. it is a tilt train of yeah. sorts. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to do more research on yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so all those things are up in the pipeline. I think definitely looking to do that. Um, yeah. Plenty of video ideas still. Uh, lots to talk about still in Sydney. Yeah, um, others. So, it, yeah. It's a forever changing I know. place, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, um, and, uh, and well, yeah. everywhere now, I think, exactly. um, is sort so, of yeah. progressing at a speed that yeah, um, I yeah. can't remember seeing before. So yeah, yeah. So there's always something yeah. to sort of cover. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, which is, so which is good. It's all good stuff um, as well. So yeah, and yeah, it's kind of like what both of, both of our channels are about, sort of archiving things. Um, exactly. That you, can, that you can look back on. Exactly. Um, That's it. Yeah, uh, over years, you know. So. Yeah, and I think you know, it's just when when you do something that you're passionate about, you know, we we both have days where we don't want to get up in the morning and do oh, a video, yeah. don't we? Oh, but yeah. but yeah, generally, 100%. once we get to a station or we get somewhere and we sort of see something that's going on or something interesting comes in we've not seen before, uh, yeah. or something's happened at a station that was new, you know, yeah. um, that definitely gets us the enthusiasm. Yeah, the, yeah. The, you, the excitement yeah. comes back. Well, it's not yeah. the excitement left. It's just sort of um, yeah, exactly, yeah, those days yeah. that you just don't want to get out of bed, <laughs> don't want to. You don't want to adult anymore, and it's sort of exactly, yeah. Back, but you've got to get out. And well, I think you can be a bit of a, I can be a bit of a kid doing YouTube. I think sometimes oh, yeah. you know it's like oh yeah, one hundred percent. I think yeah. uh, you know it's good if you can make your videos a bit funny. Oh yeah, yeah. And if you yeah, can just I, do it, I add a lot yeah. of humour. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes my humour makes no sense, but that's all right. <laughs> kind um, of dry sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it can be. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's, so that's right. really good. So yeah, so um, yeah, so lots planned. Um, yeah, and uh, let's let's see what happens with uh, you know ten thousand subscribers. It's such a milestone. Do you remember when you got to ten thousand subscribers? Um, I don't remember the year, but yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> I um, I hadn't um, paid a lot of attention to the number. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. I remember waking up in the morning, checking my Gmail, and then yeah, yeah. I had an email at, um, from from Google that said boom. I'm like. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, so I tap on it, and then it just had the little subscriber badge with yeah. um, ten thousand next to it. And I'm like, no. Wow. So I tap. I uh, went into yeah. my channel, and then yeah. um, lo and behold, it was at ten thousand. And, wow. uh, and I'm, I'm thinking I could, didn't even think I'll get to hundred subscribers, <laughs> let alone um, the ten thousand mark. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's interesting because in the early days, this is when I sort of realised that that I should put my energy into Transport Vlog and not my other YouTube channel was when it was going up about 100 subscribers a day. Yeah. So like yeah. 500, then 600. And I remember on my early videos, I used to say, oh, we just reached 400 subscribers, 500 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it still excites every day. me yeah. every 100 that it goes up now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I've hit you know, this many, 1,100, good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep yeah. going, yeah. Yeah, it's and then it got to 1,000. It's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, I, I was like, it was so funny because I thought, if it just keeps doing that, I'll be at like 100,000 subscribers in about six months. Yeah. And that, <laughs> but that's unfortunately, that didn't happen. But yeah. That's a real goal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, is hitting the 100,000 because you have the, you get the YouTube silver play button. Yeah, to, you do. Um, yes. Yes. To sort of celebrate it yeah, and yeah. sort of, yeah, be able to keep yeah. as a. Um, so just imagine silver play button just between us here. Yeah. <laughs> Some, just we'll have to come back here when the first when we get to 100,000 subscribers, and we'll come back here and say, "You remember that <laughs> that we talked get about some five years ago?" Three M <laughs> sticky, you know, the wall mounted things, and just mount it up here on the glass <laughs> on either side. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that would be really good. So make sure great, you start yeah. subscribing to Paul yeah. and start subscribing to yeah. both of our channels, and just yeah. Did you know that something like 90% of people who watch YouTube channels don't subscribe? Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's probably like we're already there. Yeah. I think we're so already if, at the hundred. So 000. if you were all like, just click that button now, <laughs> you know, it's down there. Just click on it now. 
then we could be like 100,000 subscribers by this time next week. That's it. And then, yeah. and then, and then in a <laughs> few weeks after that, we'll be able to... Yeah. We'll be back here with the silver play button. Yes. Yeah. Just Sounds good. Yeah. Stuck on the glass here. I with just tape that won't leave any residue. <laughs> now, it's interesting, you know, there's, you know, you've, if you've watched the other video, you would have seen lots of trains on the suburban platforms. We had to turn the camera around because the sun was getting in the wrong direction. The sun was so starting to get a bit weird. You might now. have noticed there's absolutely nothing. Actually, we did mention this at the beginning, didn't we? Or did we? I think so. Um, so maybe, in, there yeah. are nothing, <laughs> there's nothing coming into platforms 1 to 12 yeah. today. There's major track work major for track the best work, yeah. part of, yeah. um, well, it was like 10 days, I think, um, yeah. in Sydney Yard, which is that way. Yeah. Um, there's a yeah. lot of work going on there, so yeah. um, we're lucky enough to have it really quiet here at Sydney Terminal. We're sitting yeah. on platforms 12 and 13, oh, technically 13. Yeah. Um, no announcements because the announcements um, can be quite lengthy and loud, which is fine. That's right. Yeah. It's good to be informed. Um, yeah. But yeah, we've got it nice and quiet here. We're exactly. able to do this. It's a good spot. Um, yeah. Which is absolutely cool. Yeah. And um, it's really good to actually be able to finally sit here and have a full conversation, have a full chat. Yeah, because um, we, do, we, do, we do banter on text, don't we, quite a bit? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, we, we share and ideas, we share things with each other, don't we? But we've yeah. not met face to face since and it's, since the CAF um, tram. Yeah, that was a yes. little bit ago, yeah. Um, it was, yeah. It was re it's really good to actually get to know you a lot yeah, better yeah. as well. Yeah. And, um, and for everyone out there to, yeah. um, to, well, to get to know us both better. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Good. good yeah. One. Um, I think that would be about it. You think? I think so, yeah. I, I think, think so. so. Great. All right. Um, so, yeah, uh, please head over to Paul's channel, uh, Transport Vlog. The, it'll be in the, uh, the link will be in the description below. Um, do go over and subscribe. You definitely will not be disappointed um, in, in, in his content. Um, absolutely informative. If you do need to know anything about projects that are happening in and around Sydney, even Melbourne or Brisbane, um, Paul's channel is, is for sure the place to go, I reckon. <laughs> great. Thank you very yeah. much, Phil. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Bye. Bye.